welcome back to my channel <laughs> so let's make a yummy cookies and cream cake today so first off you go ahead and crush your oreos crush it until and let's say until you're satisfied so it depends on your preference depends on what you want and i like mine this way and then again if you don't want the cream in between the layers you can just take them off or well, i used the i used the cream for mine because i like the extra sweetness because what's cookies and cream without the cream <laughs> so i go ahead and make my buttercream so i make my buttercream from scratch because in my country is not readily available so i make my buttercream from scratch using full cream and vinegar so i just add one spoon of vinegar to my full cream and my buttercream is ready i added the baking powder and the salt the, the flour so I'm, I'm done with my dry ingredient now. so now our eggs you break your egg into the bowl and you set aside so always make sure you measure all your ingredients when you're trying to bake when you, when you want to bake a cake make sure all your ingredients are measured i've measured everything and set aside so right now we're just going to mix everything together now i added my sugar and my egg i'm just going to mix this for five minutes and i don't think i've mixed more than five minutes because you don't want to over mix your eggs you know eggs are very delicate and whenever you over mix it uh you you know end up with a well risen cake okay so at that point when you over mix you've deflated your eggs so you're just going to mix it until it's a bit light and fluffy and so the like the sugar in it is a bit combined like dissolve and you're okay so you don't want to over mix so when you get to this um, texture that is looking a bit light you're done mixing so i added flavor and oil i don't know why the, the point where i had the flavor is not showing this video and i mix straight ahead so at this point you don't need your mixer your hand mixer anymore you can just use your spatula or your wicks straight ahead we're going in with the oreos you see it are crushed oreos and you just pour it into the batter and mix it together now you're not mixing 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 you're just going to fold it in so don't over mix it at this point because everything is set just fold it in gently so i had to take that shot again so you can see what i'm saying so well, we are good at this point let's bake our cake now <laughs> so i got my um loaf pan and i pour it in and added some as topping so if you want to use pans this butter can give you two six inches it can give you two seven inches and two eight inches i did pour all the butter in the loaf so these are what you can get from this warm portion of cookies and cream so i added my toppings so you want to add more toppings you're fine you're good to go you can add whatever you want but this just works fine and our cake is ready so i'm just going to show you how it looks like very soft very airy and one of the easiest cookies and cream recipe so i'm going to be making another video of the margarine based cookies and cream so if you really don't do oil based recipe you can you know try the margarine they are both very easy recipes to make i'm going to do a video on that one too so yeah i'm just going in you know show you what the texture looks like how soft how moist it is i bet you once you start using this recipe you're not going to go back to any other you're going to dish your <laughs> every other cookies and cream recipe because this is very straightforward you don't need too much you know work and 
the texture is great for this kind of simple recipe like the texture is so so nice and even when you refrigerate it and want to use it maybe two three days later the texture is even more soft and moist so you really going to like it so just try it out if you have any question drop them i'll be in the comment section to respond to all your questions so you can see what the closer looks look like so guys bye for now and please don't mind my voice in this voiceover i was actually stressed out thank you for what for watching